you as well as its art and magic power. This is going to see the mobile development. Uh, as industry, it is relying on mature in web development or standalone application development. However, when it comes to mobile development, we are quite young. Being young, <coughs> there are few advantages and few disadvantages. Main disadvantages would be your thinking when it comes to mobile development, you think, okay, let's get a better graphic designer, let's get a better designer who is ready, let's get one mobile developer or two mobile developer, let them figure it out. For that, as we move to the standard application, we go through a much more mature process of designing, we need to approach large pictures, we need to large pictures, and so on and so forth. Let's see how we can bring those practices, some of those practices, into mobile development so that mobile development can be seen in the mature, in the mature. Okay, how it is. So, I'm going to touch upon most of the uh, tools, technologies that we will use, that we are using in the future, and uh, those are being uh, very successful to me. So, this is pure my opinion, and some of these opinions you can be uh, angry as well as the same. When you are in the middle of this, yes, that's what we learn, that's what we start. Alright, let's let's get going. <coughs> My darling audience is ambulators who are designed by keyword in the demands, uh, stability. Once we go to office, we tell like, what have you done last time? We have wrote a memory that we have used to text, right? So uh, lots of effects being introduced from the last three years. And why do we do this? You have six counting and breaks all the other stuff. Why do you do this? And you can do it as well. And then you have some of the injection of windows and defects. You fix a bunch of new features, you lose new features, existing functionality is broken. And now your third features to make is only for functionality development. You have no doubt that you will get so much of windows and defects. And you don't know what to do. Of course, project managers can do magic, they can come in, and look at the defect list and say, ah, okay, these are hard, so high priority, let's, you know, take this out, let's take the highest priority, take this product out, there are no products without the list. So I'm not talking about the project managers, I think, in this scenario, I'm talking about two years of engineers, having five years of engineers, how can we make a sincere effort to manage this? Random up crashes. This is a big deal in mobile application. Uh, you know, when you if the app crashes, you have a lot of fun in the server, you go to the server, take the lot of fun, you look at it, you get a sense of the file, the real codes. Think of that in mobile application. Application is distributed to anyone who has access to that app store. <coughs> This is where the log file, that log file is in user's mobile phone. Right? I'm trying to get that. So, and various other issues, right? This is can go on and on and on. So, if you are in a perfect development house where you come to work at eight, do test driven development, do agile, do all good, I'll buy a piece by photo. Then this presentation is not free. Then you are already doing things right. This is the people who I was <coughs> in part of uh, a couple of years back. In projects where you have issues. You would have QA issues, and you would have sending issues with QA You would have so many Android issues. You would have performance issues, and you don't know what to do. If you are in a situation like that, the content that I have to present might help. So, getting a neutral into this session is quite difficult. So, because I have to clearly differentiate that this session, the techniques that we have learned, are after the increased engineering rigor and the practices that we already know of. Right? 
there's nothing you can replace a human being. Uh, so in the way it's still a human, it's not a human being. Right? So this is the, the, the point that I'm trying to make here. Uh, I'm a human being, I'm a human being, it's not a replace a human being. But if you have that, this is often the way on the fact that it will help you to do even better. Founders. So, sorry, 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 sorry. He success factors of tech startup. I'm going to start from that point and I'm going to enter into a different garden. Uh, this needs to be a video to this subject, but however, it's pretty highly and interesting, right? Here yeah, I'm going to start up because I've been in startups for the last two years and why I've been in the service industry. Uh, founders, they matter. They interact from the music. Communication skills are not that you want to know any good startup has been found. There has to be a nice vision. That vision brings you to a level where you can compete with your competitors. You need to have a team. There's no doubt in it. So this content that you can learn are not going to focus on any of these. And there has to be a market opportunity, even if you build a good product, if there is no market opportunity, that's still not good product. But we know the focus is this one, high quality product, uh, <coughs> which is innovative and it is institutes. This is where we as engineers can contribute. How to contribute them? How do we get in ourselves to contribute in a situation like that? Is what we are going to try to and uh, discover in this presentation. And all the other four factors are important, but we are not going to discuss in this session. So let's look at these key success factors of high quality product. As a technical person, things like technology selection. If you select <coughs> PhD or Java or Ruby or whatnot, that would be good thing, right? Engineering rigor, rigorous practices. I design, I unit test, I get, I get my own review, and all that. Take architecture and design. Having a good architecture, having a good design, for that. Performance theory. You find a performance issue, you give it. And the list can go so and so. What I'm going to say is, this list is so rich, we can actually abstract this whole list and focus on three key parts. Fine-time <coughs> delivery, functional beauty, your application is beautiful in functional. User experience. Everything else that we discussed, Somehow it falls into these three. <coughs> if your product is not built on time, you have a major quality issues. If your, if your product is not functionally beautiful, right, it is does not attract people to do their job basically, you are fed. If you lose the experience over together, so sort of performance to me can be in the attempts to functional beauty or use experience. I go to this app, I search for a restaurant, it happens magically really fast. That's a performance thing, but from a user perspective, it's either user experience or a nice functionality. So these are the three key factors, success factors, right? We call them uh, <coughs> KSS, key su uh, success factors that we are trying to achieve. Let's see the challenges. <coughs> Achieving on time delivery. Achieving uh, functional beauty, achieving user experience is a challenge. However, if you keep trying, if you keep trying for a while, you would achieve this. But can you be predictable? Can you say, I'm going to achieve functional beauty by this bit, I'm going to achieve user experience by this bit? It's a tough thing, right? Even after this session, you say, what you do, but it's a tough thing, but you would have some tools. So getting predictable is trying to achieve this thing uh, in a scientific manner, right? Not by chance. So I understand people from different backgrounds 
can have other constants. I try to product is not only on that video functional new user experience, it can be other X, Y, Z. That's why I said this is on my opinion. So you can have a different opinion, but over to all of the experience that I have through actually these three, most of them, your product has high value. Okay, our topic is very critical. So, what is focus is native application version, Android and iPhone. Impact. KSF, uh, key success factors. On one side, I have
typical chance to, to be in the region are in the region, right? And you dissect here. Having missing usage analytics will that impact on that view? Yes? No? We don't know. Let's look at the next one called that line. Okay, this is my personal viewpoint. It can be found, it can check. I'm thinking yes, it will be bad effect, right? Right, this bad effect, this is neutral, this is yes and no, it's more like a mean. <coughs> this is music analytics. At this point of time, I think there's no impact on our time period. Maybe tomorrow, I'll take the next However, I mean, I'm going to look at the reason being it's an investment. You need to get that person trained, you need to get that person up to speed. <coughs> Initially, it will be wasting, not wasting, it will be interesting your time on that person. And if that person becomes successful, it's a value added. If that person is not so successful, it's a waste of time. So it's a gamble that you make. Next slide uh, user experience. What is user experience to do with manual testing? Is it a good thing or a bad thing? Impact in learning? I find it to be great. It's a good thing to have manual testers on user experience. Because eventually humans are going to test this. So manual testers come and complain if they don't get involved. This is true, this is not right. I can't see this method, so that's a good thing. Functional beauty, let's see what we got here. If you have a patient effects, yes, you are having impact in your functional beauty. That's quite obvious. Uh, I don't just think when so. Alright, so let's go to the other side, which talks about solutions. So here, what I got, I got the same challenges over here. And bunch of solutions. And we will talk about a bunch of things. And my <coughs> point of view if you do this stuff, I'm going to show you how to do it. And uh, in most of the cases, I have made few uh, products. But I'm not saying you need to go to the same product, you can go to other products. If we implement acceptance testing, what would be the regression effect? Will you be able to reduce the regression effects or will it only increase? If you can handle regression effects by acceptance testing, if you believe in that, raise your hand. You don't think so. Okay, so that's a mistake you right there. So if you have acceptance testing, and if that acceptance testing, alternative acceptance testing, if it runs over and over, you will find defects, you will find issues before you institute it, before you sort of hand it over for testing. You will find it there and there. You need to do with that for the goods, see how it goes. Green is healthy, uh, the other color is neutral. That's a sort of final. Actions and events packing will help you to have missing usage and analytics. Alright, let's let's have one too much about this because this is optimal, right? We were going to this I do stuff. How do we impact each one is a personal viewpoint. Let's let's do what it is. We will look at these during this session. So solution and approach, how do we get penetrable by doing two things right? One is automation. Most of the agile boards, <coughs> they talk about automation. This is, this comes from my personal experience. You need to have insight and analytics of what you are doing. You need to know what's inside, how it works, how it impacts people. And there are two ways to do that. And I believe if you get this and automation up to a certain extent, set up in your project, it will help.
you to know about most of the problems you have, and you will get ready to do that. All right, so let's go to the next slide. Uh, open Very popular characters. You recognize the person? And this is the only slide I'm going to get away with the cartoon. Every other slide I'm going to talk about, I'm going to discuss information. You need to test it. If you don't do it, help yourself. Do this test. Start doing this. Right? It's no escape for doing testing. If you keep escaping for doing testing, say, take time, you're not going to do it. Just if you want. It's not a personal idea, that's a universal rule, right? So, not to talk about doing testing, you can only do something. Acceptance testing <coughs> with calendars. Uh, can someone differentiate functional testing and acceptance testing? What's the difference? So, functional testing is you simply look at the function, most of the value in the is on functional testing. Now, I'm talking about automation. So, functional test automation would be you would record and play. You would record certain sort of activities, or you would drive a screen to do so and play it. Okay. The difference is in acceptance testing, it's a subset of functional testing. However, that is the bare minimum that needs the software to be accepted. Accepted as okay, this can work for us, this can work next level. Uh, this is a tool for doing PD, period, developer. You have an implementation, one for Android and one for Android. So you're going to better. A live demo on this, if you will better understand what you're talking about. BD, uh, people who have heard about BD, yes, yeah. Alright, so eventually what BD talks about is your business guys, product developers, business analysts, and your developer talk the same language. Get both of them and the same language is what BD uh, talks It's Open source and free. Right in object use as well as in Java, so that is why it works for Android as well as object use. So there are two implementations. And the test cases you ideally write in Ruby. Field test. <coughs> write business variable specifications. It says go to this tree, try to do this. We will look at all of the samples. Execute the spec as automated test cases. You don't need, up to, up, after a certain point, you don't need to write code, uh, every code to automate these test cases. It works on daily as well as hybrid types on uh, Android and iOS. You use a tool called QCombo, which, which provides a DVD. Uh, spec and it will help you run cross platform testing. That is, if you are building one app which runs on Android as well as on iPhone, you can use the same test cases, it will run on both. Runs on physical device as well as on simulator to simulator. This is the calendar architecture. You have a client and client is getting connected via the HTTP server to your app. Let's go to the data. Let's see what we are talking about. Uh, my demo is based on Objective-C, so I'm going to go to Xcode and see. Create a bug is what I'm going to test. And this 
the VDD syntax is in order to raise a roller, customer should be able to create an account. And that's a feature that I have in my system. This feature, I have two scenarios. Scenario is equal to test case. They are right in simple English. Trained in a very customized my scenario. Given I have the whole screen of the application, then I go to my account screen, then I wait for one second, then I touch the create account button. You get the part, right? It's business specific code. So let's see how we can
and our final service is refresh. Okay. Now you see a failure there. Creating a value user has failed. However, uh, it shows me the command. Then I see an alert quit registered successfully, but you don't see that. So you don't see that. So the test case has failed. However, creating a value user is successful because there's no great failure. And also, this, this is something really cool. It takes a screenshot at the time it creates. So this report, we have as this is the, the CI here. It runs for every ticket. Every ticket you write your <coughs> read test cases and other things that you are writing here. Plus the functional test cases or the acceptance test cases. If one of these, we have this critical functionality, whether the user can be registered or not. If not, you get this. And it's very detailed to use you at which level it fails and so on and so forth. Okay, so let's see how this magical language works out first. Right? Uh, Uh, how 
many of you use Jenkins? Here you have configured Jenkins to run your iOS well and the Android. Usually Jenkins are used to run your Java or PHP code, whatever that you need to build. And you execute unit test changes as well as your calendar test changes. Every checking you take a build. Identify new pages, very simple to do. Automated emails, if it fails, it will send the email. And it will upload to test flight. We'll talk about this test flight later. This is a screenshot of Jenkins. However, if you go to uh, did I disable the interaction circuit? Let me quickly. Let me show you a live. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot access the inset uh, Jenkins unless I can show how good or bad our developers are doing. But it's a 10 dot IOP, so can be accessed from outside. This is Jenkins, they are all great server. Can just go and see how many bills have been paid, paid history. Alright. So you can have a point. You can have a dashboard like this, which gives you an insight continuously. <coughs> how good the bills are. If there is a developer who breaks the bill continuously, this gives that information. And if there is a class, Moment you do some change, if it breaks the bill, that's a good target for a technique or argument or a very kind of real one. If you don't, so let's go back to our presentation. That's why the new concept you can do the continuous integration with that. <coughs> Continuous inspection of code quality. In Java world, you use find bars, EMD. You don't use find bars. Raise your hand in your kids. I know you. Anyone use find bars? Okay, one person use find bars. Uh, in object, you see this is like a missing link. They show you some stuff in the IDE itself, between all links and suggestions in the IDE. But if you need a centralized view, which is a rare point. So, Travis and the Canada gives you that. Uh, <coughs> find basic syntactic issues. It will do a static code as it will find the report, which is built on uh, LLVM. This can be integrated with CI with JTX. So every day you are the unit test, you run your acceptance testing. And your code quality. And if there are code quality issues, you get an application. And as you know, code quality issues uh, analyzed by these tools can be two things. It can be a uh, real alarm or it can be a false alarm. But then it's better to go those alarms and then differentiate between this is good and this is bad. And you can download. Let's look at a live demo, as in a uh, live demo of uh, Linux foundation, they use this billboard. They don't use Jenkins, they use their own billboard. Uh, however, the code is in C, not object in C, but this supports object in C. Let's look at how good the code comes. I 
obviously these guys are doing very really good job because if you have thousands and thousands of runs of code, having 100 bucks is a really good deal. Bugs, condition issues, these now point is division by serial or by division by serial. And you can see in which class, which line number, you can go to report. And you get the point. So this is publicly available. You can have a very important and get a very good insight into how the game is being implemented. Questions? Are you good? You guys, you don't have time to do Next, we're going to talk about the app distribution. We understand uh, App Store on iPhone side and app, uh, Play Store on Google are very new. Those two are very nice. Once you upload the product, people can download it from there. Do whatever you want. But you don't need to you don't want to upload an application with errors. You need to first test it and make sure it is working and upload it. But until you publish there, how do you distribute your apps? It's a challenge. So this is a solution to that. Test time will help you inspect your private app store. On your small group of people can access them, get the apps downloaded. Upload the bills and grant access to databases. This is a fundamental problem. Otherwise, what happens is uh, while you are developing, while you uh, developers are missing, QA team also they can get this paid into this this uh, Business guys and product guys are CEO also. Anyone who is interested in more than come also. That simply disturbs the team and you can't land your payroll. What this does is, we go to another level. When we run our integrated CI build, every build is automatically uploaded to our uh, test line dashboard. So if you need any build, you can go there, download. If you want to compare functionality between version 10 and version 9, you have version 10 as well as version 9 on the dashboard. But whereas on uh, <coughs> Apple Store, you have to do the latest version, you can't do that. Right. So this gives you that kind of flexibility for testing. Let's uh, suppose I was in the report. This is how it works. You set up your project, distribute uh, your data, everyone can download and <coughs> you can even analyze your application. Let's go to the URL. This time I'm taking you to lead set uh, test file. So you can upload your bill here. You can invite people. Let's look at our apps. We have all our apps here. Uh, there's a bill today. Uh, Android bill. And you have an iOS bill that was yesterday. So our iOS developers did not publish a bill today. Okay, that's a bad deal. They should have. Uh, so you can, you can see the team, you can see the people who are going to who has access to this. They are the people who can access it. Right? So you can control that in that sense. Understood? So that's another area if you work out with that, that will make your life much easier. And remember, this client is not a free service, it's a paid service. I think it has a free tier of a certain extent after that, but it's a really good service. Okay, stacks. Inside and analytics. So, <coughs> we looked at 
all uh, automation possibilities, uh, acceptance testing, uh, building, continuous integration builds, uh, and distribution, and so on and so forth. Uh, there are two more to go, which are one in front and one. Okay, so that's, that's the automation part, but this, is, this part also will have an insight into what you do and understand your usage of application. Crash report. Remember, uh, if it's a web app, your application crashes, you log into the web server, take the log file, analyze, figure out what's, what went wrong, can sort of come to Now, this is a real challenge in mobile phone. If it crashes in the mobile phone, you have a hard time accessing that. What crashes is this in that sense. First time it crashes, yes, it writes that to a long form. Next time when you run your app, when you start your app, it will pick up the crash file and it will submit that file to a central server, like a central log server, which we your first in access. So very simple solution. Which you can get it by yourself, you can get it by yourself to do so. When you are starting your app, when you are starting your, uh, in, uh, when you are in your app, see where there is a log file. If there is a log file, push it to a server, simple thing, right? This service provides that facility. That's the point in one thing, and it's a very focused developer report that you get. <coughs> Provide details such as type of device, free disk, whether the disk has, disk had uh, how much free space, how much memory, and the orientation of it. And it will sort of pinpoint the deal to go. Uh, <coughs> and you can add blog statements so that your error reporting becomes very enriched. You can enrich that. Suppose I know it's an error. Let's see whether Integration is easy, you are a, well, you are a app to download, this is on Mac OS, install that, then it will inject this key. Sorry, that is not correct. I have, I have actually uh, smashed that key. Let's look at an example, let's look at the screen, then we will understand what we want. Let's go to constraints. Again, this is Pay service as a pay here, but you have to pay after. <coughs> okay. Oh, you have to go and pass it. Okay. So. Ah. Let me go to a two on one inside production version. I'm not afraid to show you the failures because I'm scratching. <coughs> ah, is it zero issues today? Oh. Yeah, zero issues today. Okay, so that's a good deal because that has not crashed so far. Ah, there are five issues on the version 2.1 on the iOS application. Uh, let's see. Now you see this UID co-foundation other than all these three are something to do with the whole application code, but MS my own details do that well is something that I need I, I mean, have. Let's see what the problem is. It has broken 16, one crashes, and it has two crashes, two users being affected. Think of your first time in this report. Uh, what about iPhone? Free space 10 GB, no issue, free RAM. Happy focus is that the app is in background before that, so app is in focus, there's no other carpet app. This is, ah, right, and they highlight the new check code. But I don't know what. Okay, you know what? Uh, so, if this slide was at the top, we are talking about a P 
PR performance revolution for Brazil. Since it is started without, it has actually gone at this level, so that person is still can have this job. All good. Let's see what the fire means. Yeah, four million index. So probably have deleted one of the indexes. You are driving back and trying to access that, and that index is not there, so that's a bad deal. Okay, so and we we all of us are further in the database. Uh, okay. So that gives you that kind of insight. <coughs> what matters is that kind of insight. Anything ah, else that we would like to know here? Here, here. Ah, and if I fix this defect, I can see close. Now what happens is, the developer says, okay, I found this code, I fixed it. And if it gets reported by another device somewhere, which can automatically reload. Right? You know what I mean? Because that defect still exists. Then we all as developers are shot. Okay, so let's go to presentation here. <coughs> I think that's that's the demo. The last one I have on my list is this pack. The price reporting is about the technical issues. This pack is about your use experience. Use it and when someone says this is our most popular uh, feature, we need to see whether that person is talking. I mean, statistically can be good, scientifically can be right. This panel, I am a platform for mobile as well, it works for web applications as well. Whatever the type of application, if that application can track events, send it to a central server, you can have a report. Quite similar to Google Analytics, but much more advanced than that on certain features that we design. We can go to some faster because time is running out. We are pretty much done. This is the last statement. We expand the features. Identify how customers use your app. <coughs> Make it more used and least used features, which is a critical thing in a mobile app because you can't have lots of features. Lots of features means lots of Remember, you want to keep your application small as much as possible. Try to have users for individual users and say, we need to use a new feature, is that feature popular or not? Send to start with You can send to start with page, let's say if you see a user is trying to do that, all that bits are getting pushed up, you need to send some context sensitive help, a customized help. You can send an application, hey, we understand you are trying to press a button. That is not how you should do it. This is how you should do it. The message. It is a good day for a user experience. Uh, formulas for deep analysis and analytical data. Good reports. Take revenue. You can track revenue. <coughs> you can say, if I if user click this button, it's one dollar. How many clicks? Multiply by one So it will give you a uh, revenue picture. You can get service. Of course, this one graph. How do my apps users do my data files? According to this, people use Google Plus. And then Facebook of course and next time, but go post and blah blah. Which campaign gave us the most paying customers? Points this is like a game. I just want to understand in general. What is the score people, uh, how, much, how many points of people score? This is something really great with your code. Simple deal, you put together <coughs> token, integrate it, and when you are in iOS, right? The application didn't finish launching with options, you see the points. And anything that you want to push is called track. In fact, what it says is plan selection. When you select the plan, we create a simple array, data email, plan radio, send that. On the Android world, same thing, your instance to expand a token. Here you create a JSON object, data email, plan radio, and track. Just to push that to a server. Let's see a demo. Alright, we copy that. OK. 
Yes, lots of reports, but I'll show you one simple report. Let's say we have a feature called uh, Burns Restaurant. I need to understand how people browse this restaurant by uh, at first the versions that are uh, published. This is how it is. I have my these are my versions. We start from one, 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 two, one, three, and this is how it's been used. Two, one, three, three thousand five hundred users within that period of time have used it. 